hey guys in today's video we'll be taking a look at gram staining and if you're new to this channel please do endeavor to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification because we got a lot of great content you don't want to miss in this video we are going to be covering the following aspects what is gram staining objectives of gram staining principles of gram staining reagents required for gram staining the procedure for gram staining and limitations of gram staining so what is gram staining gram staining is a staining technique developed by hans christian gram which is used to distinguish and classify bacterial species into two large groups that is the gram positive bacteria and the gram negative bacteria gram staining has a following aim it aims to separate bacteria into two groups that is, the gram-positive bacteria that retains the primary dye, which is crystal violet, and the gram-negative bacteria that takes the color of the counter state, usually saffronin. So, let's see how gram staining actually distinguishes between the gram-positive bacteria and the gram-negative bacteria. The gram stain technique is based on the differential structure of the cellular membranes and the cell wall of the two groups. The gram-positive organisms contain a highly cross-linked layer of peptidoglycan that retains the primary dye following the application of the mordant. The iodine and crystal violet form a complex within the peptidoglycan. When the decolorizer is applied to the cells, the crystal violet iodine complex remains within the cell, making it appear dark purple to blue. That means, in gram positive bacteria, since the peptidoglycan layer is thick, when the acid decolorizer is applied, it is unable to wash away the crystal violet iodine complex from the peptidoglycan, making the cells to remain dark purple. To blue. Meanwhile, the gram negative organisms do not contain a thick cross linked layer of peptidoglycan. The peptidoglycan is loosely distributed between the inner cell and the outer cell membranes. Following the application of the crystal violet and iodine, the crystal violet iodine complexes are not trapped within the peptidoglycan as in the case of gram-positive bacteria. Application of the acid decolorizer dehydrates the outer cellular membrane, leaving holes in the membrane and effectively washing or removing the crystal violet iodine complex from the cells. The cell then appears colorless. To make the colorless cell visible, a secondary stain is applied which causes the gram-negative cell to appear pink. The following reagents are used in carrying out the gram stain procedure. Crystal violet, which is used as the primary stain, iodine, which functions as the mordant, ethyl alcohol, which functions as the decolorizer, and safranin, which is used as the secondary stain. The procedure for carrying out the gram stain technique is as follows. A smear of the sample is made on a clean slide using a sterile loop. The smear is then allowed to air dry. After the smear has air dried, hold the slide at one end and pass the entire slide through the flame of a Benson burner two or three times with the smear side up. The slide with the heat fixed smear is gently flooded with crystal violet and let to stand for one minute. Till the slide slightly and gently rinse with tap water or distilled water using a wash bottle. Gently flood the smear with grams iodine and let it stand for one minute. Seal the slide slightly and gently rinse with tap water or distilled water using a wash bottle. 
till the slide slightly and apply the ethyl alcohol drop by drop for 5 to 10 seconds until the alcohol runs almost clear. Immediately rinse with water. Flood the slide with safranin and allow it for 45 seconds, then rinse off with water. Blood dry the slide with bibulous paper. The slide can now be viewed under the microscope using oil immersion. In as much as gram stain is important in identifying bacteria, it also has some limitations such as some bacteria are gram stain variable. That is, at one point they may portray as gram positive bacteria and at another point they may portray as gram negative bacteria. Also, some bacteria are resistant to gram stain, such as the acid fast bacteria. Thirdly, false results may occur if the smear is over decolorized. Older cultures may also give false results. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so whenever we upload a video, you'll be the first to know.